If you had asked me who my favorite character of Attack on Titan was during the early seasons, I would have told you without hesitation, John Kirstein. Jumbo! I didn't really know why at the time though. He was not your typical badass character a la Levi Ackerman, and not the protagonist either. He actually came off as an arrogant and selfish brat. But despite all of that, he ended up being one of the most popular characters from the series, and many have voiced him as their favorite, including the author himself, Hajime Isayama. Feast your eyes on this baby! This begs the question, why is John Boy loved by so many? We're going to answer this question by exploring three main themes that I believe epitomizes John Kirstein's character and how we can learn from him as a person. The most common reasons I've seen given by his fans were that he was the most humane, the most relatable character, or that his confidence and leadership was admirable. While all of those may be true, I believe that they all stem from one single character trait. Which brings me to the first theme of our discussion today, his vulnerability. John is not afraid to speak his mind. His brutal honesty was actually the reason given by Hajime Sayama as to why John was his favorite character in 2012. I found that reason super interesting because brutal honesty is not a trait I personally admire. I mean, rude people can be brutally honest too, and I don't admire those people. Eat up, the titans like a little meat on their bones. However, his answer made me realize that John's brutal honesty was actually an outlet to his vulnerability. And that was what I admired from John's character. His outspokenness is an outlet for his peers and us, the viewers, to get a deeper look into who John Kirstein truly is. The idea of exposing your weaknesses and fears is quite scary if you think about it. You're basically telling everyone that you're not good enough and thus leaving yourself at risk of judgment. At least, that's what most people think. The belief that vulnerability makes others judge you and belittle you is only true when you're around an insensible crowd. A crowd of people who are not self-aware enough to understand their own flaws and emotions. When John shared his fears to Marco, Marco saw him as relatable and reliable. Marco described John as a weak person, but that his weakness allowed him to sympathize with the group and to be a good leader. This moment is probably the one that encapsulates John Kirstein's character best. Even though John was quote unquote weak, it made him humane and relatable. Everyone has their own insecurities, but we often forget this fact when we go on our day to day because people usually hide them. When we see someone else actually share their insecurities, it's a reminder that we're not the only one in this predicament. Knowing that others share the same experience makes us relate to them because we see ourselves in them. And since we all know how scary it is to be vulnerable, we respect people that do it. When you can feel how genuine a person is, it makes it easier for yourself to open up to them so you enjoy talking to them more. It allows you to build trust and deeper connections. A meaningful relationship is built on engaging conversations that are honest, purposeful, and reciprocal. And there's nothing more honest and purposeful than sharing your insecurities and doubts in life to someone that actually listens and shows support. For that reason, embracing vulnerability is a very powerful attribute in increasing reliability and building relationships. So start speaking proudly of your weaknesses. This openness to speak his mind has made it much easier for his peers and us, the viewers, to sympathize with him because we relate to him and understand him. And that is what makes him such a fascinating and loved character. That is the power of vulnerability. Marco's impact on John's growth is indisputable. Not only did his interactions with John epitomize his vulnerability as a character, but his death pushed John to show courage when needed. Which regiment you're gonna join? I've made my choice. It'll be rough, but damn it! I'm gonna join the scouts! This is what real courage looks like. Not this, but this. Because courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. This theme is probably one of the most subtle themes explored in Attack on Titan, as we rarely see or hear characters praise each other explicitly for being courageous. Instead, Isayama chooses to show this theme through actions and decisions rather than dialogue. All the main characters have displayed courage in one way or another, but John's courage is the one that hits closest to home. His dream to live a comfortable life is such a relatable one. We all strive to live a long life of comfort, 
safety, and prosperity, which is why John's decision to join the Survey Corps is such an inspirational one because it goes against all of those wishes. Because more important than a comfortable life, we strive to live a purposeful one. For John, joining the Survey Corps is figurative of that. He knew deep down that his decision to join the military police was based on what was easier rather than what was purposeful. He knew he was able to contribute to humanity's fight against the Titans. His decision was most definitely influenced by Marco, but also by Aaron, who repeatedly questioned the purpose of his motives. The ethical dilemma of choosing to do what's right versus what's easy is one that we all face daily, and choosing the former over the latter is a decision that takes courage. The courage to do what's right, or at least what we think is right, is not always obvious. How often do we go on with our game knowing that we could be more intentional or be more purposeful with our time? How many people have chosen careers or relationships for comfort and safety rather than what they consider truly meaningful? Too often do we choose the easy, comfortable way out, but John Kirstein's character is a reminder for us to confront those fears head on. One of my favorite moments with John was during the female titan arc, where he kissed his sword and confronted the female titan during the expedition despite his fear for the sake of the mission. Not only did John decide to join the Survey Corps, but he also willingly took on more responsibilities as a commander, knowing that he had the leadership skills needed for that role. Please, John, you're better suited for this. Move, make for the river. Everyone aboard Aaron, conserve our gas. This was also a very admirable moment as many of us would freeze in such stressful and high pressure situations. John's courage to do what's right despite getting out of his comfort zone is an admirable attribute that we should emulate and is one of the many reasons why I and many others admire John Kirstein so much. With that in mind, it is easy to see why we care so much about his success. From a self-centered young boy to a responsible commander with a sense of purpose, John's evolution is exemplary. We discuss how his weakness made him relatable, how his courage was a quality to aspire to, and if you combine relatability with likability, you get a hero that viewers become greatly attached to. In John's case, I've been rooting for his success ever since this happened. I'm gonna join the scouts! Much more than caring about his well-being as a character or his happiness, I felt deeply connected with his ethical dilemmas and his triumph over them. Drawing parallels between our personal lives and his journey is truly why we care so much about his success. What we see is the darkest aspects of our personality reflected to us through John's character. The fear of dying. The fear of doing what's right because it is difficult. The fear of not living to our potential. The fear of failing. All of those dilemmas are complex and real, and if a character who faces all these challenges head-on does not succeed in the end, then what would it mean for us? His success gives us hope. Hope that we can choose to be better. Hope that if we do decide to be better, the end result will be positive. Because if there's no hope, why even try? That is why we care about John's success. And success does not mean that all his temptations and fears are gone. As we saw in episode 84, John still faces those challenges on a recurring basis. That doesn't mean he failed. On the contrary, it shows how it is a constant challenge that takes vulnerability and courage to triumph. John's progressive and consistent evolution throughout the show has taught us that vulnerability and courage can lead to success both on a personal and professional level. That having fears is not a disadvantage, but rather a strength that can make us more susceptible to others and thus relatable. John's actions and circumstances speak to our darkest fears and dilemmas, and his triumph over them is why he is such a fan favorite among all of the Attack on Titan fans, including myself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to subscribe for similar content. And remember that you can learn from anyone and everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.